guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome my name is Cassidy I post all things nursing lifestyle health wellness fitness kind of everything in between I'm a registered nurse I'm 24 years old and that's just a little bit about me so if you enjoy a little bit of everything type of content definitely consider subscribing in this video I really wanted to show you guys my apartment tour I've been living in this apartment for about eight months now and I feel like I've reached the point where I'm probably not going to do any more decorating just because I only have about six months left on my lease and my boyfriend and I are planning on moving in together after both of our leases are done later on this year so I feel like I've kind of reached the point where I'm happy with how it's decorated I'm probably gonna keep it like this for the majority of the summer and the rest of the time that I live here so I really love these types of videos and I love to have it for the memories so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys where and what the majority of my stuff is from um, I would say that the majority of the things that I have in my apartment are either from Amazon or home goods and I'm gonna do my best to link everything that I can and if I can't find the exact Product, then I will try to link something similar. So let's just do an overview of my apartment first and then I will go ahead and get into the little details of everything. Also want to apologize in advance if you hear the washer going. I just got all my laundry done for the week so I'm getting ahead on that and you can probably hear it still but when you first walk into my apartment over this way is the kitchen and laundry room. It's really a pretty good sized space I feel like for me but I definitely want to upgrade to something bigger next. Um, and then over here we have the living room, dining room. This way is going to be my bedroom. Here is just kind of like a little hallway that I have my long mirror in. And then right over here is the bathroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and start first with the kitchen just because I feel like that's probably the best place to start. So when you walk into my kitchen, first thing I have here is just this mat I actually got from Walmart. It's just one of those super cushiony mats. And I love it because it's just super comfortable and when I'm doing dishes, I feel like it is just super nice to stand on. And then when you move this way, I have this drying rack, which is from Amazon. The amber glasses are also from Amazon. Stickers are from Etsy. And then it's kind of gross, but the coaster thing itself is from Target and then as you move along in the kitchen I just have a few things decor wise in here first thing is just this Target um, towel holder this is from home goods Amazon Amazon and Target now when you move over to this side of the kitchen this is the area where I feel like I have the majority of things and the first thing I have up here is just my always pan by our place I absolutely love this pan I would recommend it to anyone that is in the market for just like a good staple pan I feel like it works well for everything and I'm so happy with it then over here, I just have my air fryer. This is the Cook's Essentials air fryer. I actually got this as a Christmas present many Christmases ago, so I don't know if I can actually find the exact one, but I will find one that I'm hoping to upgrade to in my next apartment, and I'll link that one down below. Then over here, we just have this custom cutting board that my uh, boyfriend actually got off of Amazon and it got my name engraved on it. Here I have my Nespresso machine and the milk frother. I use that every morning before work. And then that's pretty much it for the kitchen. I feel like it's pretty simple and I don't have a lot of decor in here, but I will also move into the laundry room here just so I can show you guys the setup of it. It's nothing fancy really. So right here we have the washer and dryer and then up here I just have like this little hanging rack that I got off of Amazon. And then up here I just have soap for laundry, dryer sheets, some extra mop heads um, that I interchange, some pickleball gear and then some extra towels and toilet paper. Next space we're gonna move into is just the main living room space here. So I figured I'd show you guys a little overview of it first. I feel like I went for much more simple decor in this apartment, which I'm actually really happy with. And I feel like the decor that I do have is pretty neutral. So first thing we'll start with the living room. This dog bed is from Home Goods. The carpet is Calvin Klein and it is also from Home Goods. This couch is from American Furniture Warehouse. The first pillow here is the striped one and that one is from Kirlin Home Furnishing. The two fluffy pillows are from Target. The next thing are just these curtains that I actually got from Ikea. 
as you move into the living room I just have this entertainment set that I got from home goods these vases which are from Amazon I want to call this a coaster but I know it's not a coaster this little thing is from home goods these are from Amazon. Then I just have one of my favorite Yankee candles going, Golden Sands. And then in the back here, I have my Alexa. Then over here, I just like to keep my remotes. And then these coasters are from Amazon. Right over here by the island, I have two black stools that I have gotten from Amazon. And then over here, some of this stuff is things that have already... Um, been previously shown in my other apartment but i will still go through them again if anyone was interested this black entryway table right here is from target the two books are from amazon the little bowl right here i actually got when i was in hawaii and then over here we just have this vase from home goods and this spiky stuff i don't even know what to call it this stuff is from amazon so i will also link that down below over here we just have some candles that i got from target last thing is these frames which i just put some of my favorite pictures in with my favorite people and they are from at home next thing we have over here is just this dining room table i am absolutely obsessed with it it is actually from a place here in arizona called mega furniture warehouse i don't know if they have other locations in other states but this table itself is actually discontinued and i was inspired by this table when i saw the one from restoration hardware i feel like it was the best um, dupe that i could find for it so if i can find anything similar i will definitely link it down below or just link the restoration hardware one I couldn't afford that one, so we went with this one, and I feel like it's a great knockoff of it. Then up here, we just have these two prints, which are just like textured, and I actually made these myself in a previous vlog, so if you guys are interested in seeing how I made this DIY art, I will link that vlog down below. Over here, we just have a little area that is Brady Station. I have this little basket that I got from Home Goods. This little mat is from Amazon, and this is actually the Neater Feeder, and I love it so much. And then this print up here is actually just a print of Brady when he was a puppy, and I love it so much. Oh, there's a bit of a glare. Um, and I will link the company that I used to get this down below because I can't remember. I think it's called West Willow, but I'm not exactly sure. So I will make sure that I link that company for you guys and you can get like custom pictures of your pets. And I feel like it just looks so cute right above his little area here and it just makes it his very own. All right, now that we have finished the living and dining room area, I'm gonna move into the bathroom. Okay, I don't know what the heck happened to the rest of these clips of the bathroom and my bedroom. It's much later now. I was editing the video and it looks like they somehow didn't go through. I don't know if I didn't press record or what, so we're gonna redo that. So let's go to the bathroom area and I will show you guys a little overview before I tell you where everything is from. So that is the bathroom. First things first, when you walk into the bathroom, I just have this fuzzy rug that I got from Home Goods. As you move on up this way, over in this corner, we just have this cute little starfish that my boyfriend got for me in San Diego. This little vase is from At Home, as well as this little vase right here that's kind of like beachy themed. That's pretty much the theme that I went for in this bathroom. Pompous grass is from Amazon, and then as we go this way, we have just some Bath and Body Works soap. Then I also have this Conair mirror, which is actually something that I got for Christmas, but if I can find it on Amazon, I will link it. Right over the toilet here, we have this wicker basket, which is from Home Goods. Up above here, this shelf and this cabinet are actually not what came with the place. This shelf I installed and it is from Target. Over here, same place in San Diego. It's like a surf shop that my boyfriend got the starfish is also where this little coral thing is from. Right here we've got a volcano candle and then right here is just kind of like this seashell thing and it is from Home Goods. 
Now up above here, I needed more storage, so I bought this off of Amazon. It is just like a white cabinet, and it stores a lot of like my daily beauty products. I love it so much, totally worth the $100. And I put it together and hung it up and I feel like it just works so well for the space. So I will definitely be linking that down below for you guys. Then over here we just have the shower curtain and curtain rod, not curtain rod, what am I saying? The shower curtain and shower curtain rods. So the rods are all from Amazon and this shower curtain is kind of just like a waffle knit one. And it is from Target. Then over here, we just have this little bath mat that I got off of Amazon. I love it. It is like a wooden one, and I use it literally every day when I get out of the shower, and it's so nice. Over this way, we just have some white towels, and then this print up here, I was going for like a coastal vibe in this bathroom, so this print is from Amazon. And that's pretty much it for the bathroom, so let's move into my bedroom now. Um, I'm gonna obviously refilm this because the first clip did not film, I guess, but I will give you an overview of the entire space first, and then we'll go into more detail about where everything is from. Okay, we are restarting this again because my camera battery decided it wanted to die right as I started filming the bedroom portion of this. But, like I was saying, the bed frame is from Living Spaces. I love it so much. This is a king size bed in this room. Then over here we just have these silk pillowcases in the back which are from Amazon. Then I have two sets of pillows. The big pillows and the little pillows in the front are actually from Amazon, but the brown pillowcases in the front here are from Etsy, and these cream colored ones are from Amazon in the back. Duvet cover is from Amazon as well, and this blanket is just the Casa Luna king size throw blanket from Target. Then when you move over to my first nightstand over here, let's readjust this. First nightstand over here is from Pottery Barn. Same thing, I have a matching one on the other side. These wicker baskets are from Home Goods. Coasters are the same ones that I had out in the living room and this is just one of them. And they are from Amazon, like I said earlier. Then up here we just have like this little charging station, which I absolutely love. It was inspired by Sydney Adams for this one and the hatch alarm. Totally recommend this alarm if you are someone that has a hard time waking up in the morning. Then we just have the lamp, which is also from Amazon. I love the texture on it. I feel like it just truly adds to the space and it's just another neutral color that goes along with this entire space. Up above here, we just have this print that I actually got from Home Goods. I wouldn't say I love it, but I feel like it goes well with the colors of the space. So at least for this apartment, I will be keeping it. Over here, it's pretty much the same setup. We have the Pottery Barn nightstand, Home Goods wicker basket, Amazon lamp, and this diffuser is from Amazon as well. One of my favorite scents to have in it. I got this one from Sprouts and it is just nature's shield. I love it so much. Then over here we just have some baby breasts. These ones are like pretty dried out but I feel like they look really cute over here so we're just gonna keep them. Then as we move along to the curtain area, curtain rod is from Walmart. These actual curtains, they are blackout curtains, are from Amazon and so are the little hooks. I'll zoom in closer so you guys can actually see the texture. I really wanted like white curtains but I really needed something blackout because I am a night shift nurse and I love these ones so much. They have just a little bit of texture to them and color and I feel like I won't have to wash them as often because they have the little specks of color in them. All right, now let's move on to the final area of my room and that is the area that is across from my bed. So starting over here, we just have this ring light from Amazon. I wouldn't say it's the best one. I wouldn't even say that I recommend it, but it's what I've got, it's what I use. Then over here we have this Alex 9 drawer which is from Ikea. It is so amazing and if you have ever thought about getting this drawer, I highly recommend it. I've had it in my last three places and it's just so nice for extra storage. Up here we just have this custom jewelry box that my boyfriend got for me with my name on it. Back here is just 
this at home vase and then my everyday Daisy by Marc Jacobs perfume. I really wouldn't say that I love this area up here, but it works and I haven't quite figured out how to style it yet. So that's why I just have those things up there. Then when we move this way, we have this wicker basket, which holds all of my blankets in it. Top blanket is from Target. And then this basket, I don't know if I said it already, but it is from Home Goods. Next thing we have is just this Ikea dresser. Would not say that this is the most amazing dresser ever. I've had it in my last three apartments, but it's definitely on its last leg falling apart. I would say it's a good dresser if you're in the market for one and you're moving into your first place and you want something that's cheap and affordable, but long-term, I wouldn't say that it's the best. Next, we'll move into the little figurines and decor that we have on top of the dresser. Right over here, we have like this thinking um, figurine and this is from Amazon. Crystal is from Home Goods. The vase is from Home Goods as well. And the pompous grass is from Amazon. This mirror right here I've had in like the last three apartments that I've lived in and I love it so much. This one is from Target. Now, this is one of my newer purchases that I am absolutely obsessed with. It is just this really nice jewelry box. I decided I was finally gonna invest in a really good jewelry box because I really want to invest in higher quality jewelry this year. And this jewelry box is from West Elm. Now, moving over this way, we just have a stack of books, this vase, and then the chain. Books are from Amazon, vases from Home Goods, and then this chain is from Amazon as well. Last thing we have here is just like my purse hanging up, and that is a dupe for the YSL hobo bag, and it is from Amazon. I will be sure to link it down below if you guys are interested in it. And that's pretty much it for my room. I feel like I'm really happy with it. It is so cute and just my style. If I missed mentioning anything, please let me know in the comments down below. I went through this video pretty quickly because a lot of the things that I have in this apartment have not changed from my last one. But if there's anything that you guys want to know of specifically, please let me know, like I said, in the comments down below. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you consider giving it a like and subscribing because it really supports my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.